Mighty Mackham. Fuck it, it's hot in here. It's cold outside, but it's hot in here. She's got the heat on, hasn't she, to fucking dry the clothes? Jesus Christ. Anyway, Mighty Mackham, back to give you some news. Uh, club news and live stream news. So club news, we have appointed Simon Grayson. Um, and obviously yesterday I was quite busy, uh, so I was talking to Paul about it. Um, and he has sent me a few stats. Just need to quickly bring them up. Um, which we'll get into. Once I down we'll find the bloody things. Uh, Don't find them. Still not finding them. This is no. Right, hang on, I'll go a bit further. <laughs> ah, the shoddy workmanship. The shoddy workmanship. Right, it'll be here somewhere. Let's have a look. There it is. Right. So, Simon Grayson, in total, uh, has 100, 104 games, drew 74, and lost 57. So the loss to win ratio is pretty decent. It is pretty decent, which is good. Uh, just under 50%, just out of those two stats. It's the draws that concern me. 74 draws, that's, you know. And, you know, people have been saying, oh, well, he's notorious for getting clubs promoted again. Yes, get in there, great. Yeah, from League One to the Championship. Um, this is a completely diff different kettle of fish. For one, some of fans are reasonably happy about it. They're going to give him a chance, as I am. But personally, I don't think he's the right man for the job. I genuinely don't. Um, you know, much like we gave David Moyes a chance, I got suckered into that. Look where we are now. Look where we are right now, you know? Um, so, obviously I've got to give him a chance. I've got no choice there. I'm a Sunderland fan through and through. Uh, so that has to be done. And I could be wrong. I mean, what, what's what's to say he doesn't bounce us straight back up, you know? Uh, win the league. And then the next season we have a decent Premier League season, you know? Finish maybe top half, bottom half, you, you know? Sort of the middle of the table. And then... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting one. It's definitely an interesting one. I'm sitting on the fence with it. I am sitting on the fence with it. And I know I said that a lot last season about some of the performances and David Moyes, but this one I, I, I've, I've got to because I've, I've got my doubts. I do have my doubts. Um, yeah. So also, Ellis Short is still in charge of the club. <sighs> When I found out this deal had fell through because it wasn't for the best interest of the club, yeah, great, EAP. League One, here we come. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that we bought Fabio Barini for nine million, and then the rumours were circulating that oh, he's going to AC Milan, I believe it is, for five point three million. No, he's going for a season-long loan first, and then they have the option to buy him after a certain amount of appearances. Once that gets triggered, they have to buy him. He brings Martin Bain in to try and solve the financial problems of the club. You buy a player for nine million, and you sell him for five point three. It's a good three point seven loss there. That's how you run a club. That is definitely how you run a club. That is top notch. That, that that's fantastic. That's great. That's a great way to run a club down into the fucking the depths of hell. It's ridiculous. It really is. But. I suppose we need to offload it because of the fucking wages. Uh, so I've got a question for you guys before I, before I go on. Got a question? Leave it in the comment. Leave your answer in the comments below. As always, that was a bit shit. Leave your answer in the comments below. That's a bit better. There we go. Um, how many players do you think Grayson will sign from Preston? I am putting my neck out on the line here, and I'm saying four. I think four players from Preston. 
Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. It's like Gus Poyet all over again, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, yeah. Uh, live streams. Um, now, I know they've been a bit late starting recently. Um, that's just for certain reasons. Don't worry. They're going to get back to normal this Sunday. That much I can guarantee you. Um, around about half eight, nine o'clock start. Uh, and I am enjoying the, uh, the the whole Triple D challenge. You know, it's... It, it's pretty interesting. Um, even so, Jack in the comments during the live stream, because uh, one of them was shocking. The chemistry was diabolical. Jack said he'd be surprised if I got the chemistry up to seventy. Yeah, not. I, 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 um, what would I call myself? FIFA. I wouldn't say a FIFA master, uh, you know, but. As you know, playing professional difficulty, so I could call myself a FIFA pro, couldn't I? Yeah, a, a FIFA pro, you know. And bang on, 70 chemistry. It was the worst draft I ever had. I believe it was a 151 or a 155, something around that region. It was 15 something, I know that. Worst draft I have ever had. And to top it off, we get two games into it, and EA decide we'll update the ultimate team servers. We'll, we'll do a bit of maintenance on oh, it fucking cocks so I did go back in I did win the draft I got about 15 K's worth of players back in the two packs I had, I had a 26 premium pack and a premium gold pa uh, pack you know the normal ones the uh, the 150 FIFA points ones 17 17 and a half thousand coins I think it is seven and a half thousand coins something like that anyway yeah you know you know you know the ones you know the, the maximum gold one you can get anyway um, so I'd say just about just about over 15 maybe as far as 16 K's worth so I sold a few of them um, no one to write home about you know no walkout like Danny Alves again probably it's one of the worst walkouts you can get I know but it's a walkout I'll take it finally got one at last on FIFA and that was in the previous live stream I believe so it was decent so we're gonna go again this Sunday uh, with another triple D challenge um, you know what, should we see it? No, no, we want to see if we can get worse than a 1 5, whatever. Jesus Christ, no. We need to get better than at least a 1 5 1 for a draft. I think we'll go with that. Um, so that'll start about half eight, nine o'clock because I want to try and get the full draft in. Unless EA fucking thwart that attempt as well. Twats. Um, so yeah, and as for the charity live stream, it's still happening. The extra shifts aren't looking that great at the minute for work. Uh, obviously, we're not in August yet. We'll come to July time, you know, in the next three or four weeks, I'll get a rough idea of whether it's going to be a complete, completely new setup or whether it's going to have to be a live stream, 24 hours solid, FIFA 18, which is going to be interesting. Uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. Um, I mean, there's a lot you can do on FIFA. You know, you'll, you'll have the career mode, you've got ultimate team, uh, you've got the divisions as well, um, draft picks, which is good. So that that's going to be an interesting one. I, I'll be quite happy to do that. That's a backup plan, just in case these extra shift things don't quite go to plan. Um, so it, it'll, be, it'll be interesting, but... Um, the only problem I've got is because of my broadband speed, I wouldn't even be able to utilise my, my son's PlayStation when he gets it, so I could switch over to Twitch to play a different game. It's it's a fucking sticky wicket, it really is. Because uh, then you've got the fear if you sign into that PlayStation, you could get kicked out of the other one, and that would be no good, would it? You know. Um, so that's the backup plan, uh, all dependent. I mean, the game and PC I've seen is, is fucking pe it's cheap as piss, man. It really is, but it'll get the job done for what we need. Monitors I've seen again cheap as piss. They don't have to be out spectacular. You know, providing you get it all plugged up to uh, HDMI, then we're laughing. Easy peasy. Um, so yeah, but it just depends on work really. Uh, so I'll be keeping I'll be keeping you guys posted as well. We should start to find out roughly in the next couple of weeks. See what I could pick up, even if I work all day, it'll help. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think of that idea. Uh, I think it's a good backup idea. It's a solid backup idea, to be fair. Um, and then that way if it does have to be the backup idea I don't need to buy a Playstation camera that's all I need to do and they're 55 quid brand new 50 quid in places some cheaper even £40 I've seen them going for brand new 
yes official as well no, no Chinese knockoff stuff um, so guys yeah let me know what you think about that idea don't forget how many Preston players will we sign box below yeah like the video subscribe to the channel and the mighty Mackham will be smashing another video out sooner than you think